what is going on cj bill fam uh right now i am on the floor because currently i'm going to be taking off the intercooler pipe on this side because i want to put the bumper back on i'm already kind of out of the whole intercooler showing thing i want to put a bumper on kind of complete the front end so this pipe on this side is hitting when i try putting the bumper on this is hitting the bumper so i'm gonna take off this pipe see maybe i can trim a little bit just bring it in my biggest fear is that it'll be facing like inwards so we may have to bend it i don't think so i hope not we might be able to make it work so i'm gonna loosen this up take off this pipe and trim it a little bit see what can happen if not i might run the inner cooler that way slightly temporarily i want the bumper on man so i just took off the pipe and i think my baboon self was looking at this pipe wrong when i installed it i have it like this but i think it goes son of a biscuit I think it goes like this. It would make more sense because it'll be a lot closer to the crash floor because it'll be like, let me like mock it up real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Because I think that's how it's supposed to go. It looks a lot shorter on this end here, which would make more sense in terms of making it fit. So I might not have to cut anything. Just literally move this over. And I remember it being a little bit short here. I kind of pulled this down. So I think I was just a baboon when I installed it. Oh my god guys we we're able to get the bumper on we finally have a bumper on the honda it looks so different i don't know why it looks even more different probably because of the wheels the wheels definitely do make it look a bit different look at that can't even tell it's boosted until you see the blitter blue all right guys so now that we have the bumper on the car let's go ahead and let's go ahead wow let's go ahead let's go ahead let's go ahead and let's put the new spring in the car so we can raise the boost and then afterwards we're gonna do the injectors to rdx injectors and we're gonna get this thing rolling Your big brain boy just stripped this out. So I'm gonna figure out how to get that one out. And then I'm not too stressed because we have another get here and I'll just steal the Allen off that. But now let's see how we're gonna get that one off. All right guys, in our closet of random things, I found this and my dad says pretty much an old trick is to put this in the Allen, which will give it some kind of, um, some kind of friction. We should be able to be enough friction to actually take off the Allen head. So we're gonna put a little dab on the island and try seeing if it'll let us undo it. It's like that's loose. Well, again, my dad's random tricks from the old days worked. So let's go ahead and get this off and let's put the new spring in. All right guys, so this is the green spring. This one should grant us about seven to seven and a half PSI. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the wastegate and I'm gonna go ahead and set the, the boost cut to around seven and a half maybe around eight psi that way just in case um it does go over the seven and a half that it's rated for but i think we should be good Alright guys, the new spring is officially in, so now we have to put new injectors on. So that way we don't run out of fuel, because I'm pretty sure these stock injectors are 240cc. I don't think it's going to be enough fuel for this boost, so I might as well just upgrade them now. We have some RDX injectors, so let's go ahead and put some injector hats on it. Um, it came with some used injector hats. I'm going to try them. Um, if they end up being bad or leaking or something, then we'll go ahead and buy some new ones, but it doesn't hurt to give it a try, you know. Extremely, highly, extremely, extremely recommended to grease them when you put them in the hat so we don't tear the o-ring or anything like that and it gets a good seal so you're going to put a little bit dab put it on the on the o-ring and then slide it on all right guys to get off the rail i'm going to show you before we go into time lapse there's going to be two bolts in the back one of them is going to be here 
this guy there is gonna be that little nut there then i recommend taking off the fuel pressure regulator that way it'll give you more space to get to the nut here because you know i mean you can take off this hose but for me this hose doesn't really come off so i just took off the whole fuel pressure regulator so after those two nuts are off then the rail will come off just kind of give it a little bit of a shimmy shimmy and then it'll come up so let's jump into the time lapse and you'll be able to see the whole process i sped it up two times that way it's not slow but it's not fast and you're able to see it done so let's put these injectors on Ow. all right guys so it's leaking from the injector hats on the inside so um they are a little bit scratched up on the inside i guess when the previous owner kind of like pulled them out of the out of the rail they kind of scratched it up so i don't think it's getting a proper seal so i'm gonna go ahead and order some new ones um they should be here in a couple of days so i'll pick up the video when they come in we'll we'll put the new injector hats on and then we should be good all right guys so for you guys it's been about a second for me it's been a couple days so the injector hats just came in so let's go ahead let me have the box here let me grab the package real quick i'll show you them we'll put them on the injectors and put them on the car we just bought another set from vms so we're going to ahead opening these up loop them up put them on the injectors put them back on hopefully they don't leak if they do then i don't know what i'm gonna do it might be the actual o-rings on here then but whatever one step at a time let's try these injector hats yeah guys so this is my first time using injector hats but these went on way more snug than the other ones i don't know just the way that it went on it went on really snug kind of felt it like it's actually sealed so i think we might be looking good with these all right guys we have the new injectors back on we put the camera there let's see if it leaks if it does and i don't know what to do if it doesn't we're gonna start tuning it again man all right guys so it's still leaking even with the new injector hats so i don't know if the injectors are bad maybe the o-rings are bad um maybe it's just this rail isn't working the distance isn't the same as the stock injectors um i don't know 
So I'm kind of going to mess around with them a little bit, kind of see if I can figure out what's going on. And then I'll let you guys know. Um, hopefully at the end of this video, we'll have something working. But if not, then I don't know. Let me go ahead and take a look and I'll let you guys know what I find. Holy sh**, we're not leaking. Guys, we're not leaking. So the problem was the seal. The seal wasn't letting it, was kind of like cocking it at a weird angle. Right now the, the car is still primed, the fuel pump is still primed and there's no leak. That's what's up guys. So guys, after hours of taking a look at this, it was the grommet that was keeping it from, focus, that was keeping it from sealing properly. So pretty much the grommet goes here on the injector, but on these, they have an O-ring on them. So it seals itself and it holds the exact same size as the O-ring. Well, a little bit smaller so it can seal, but you know what I mean. So pretty much what was happening is when the injector was going onto the grommet, it, the hole in the grommet's too small for the injector. So the injector, the actual like body of it, the blue body of it would press into it. And I'm guessing the, the tension there will kind of put it at an angle since, it, since the rail's coming at an angle. And what I'm guessing is the injector hat would kind of have a space between the injector hat there since the pressure was so like was pressing so far down, but it couldn't really go anywhere. It was kind of clocking it a little bit. So I gave it room to leak because right now it's not leaking at all so so it is late so we're probably going to call that a night here and then tomorrow put the the map for these injectors and then see if we can go around the block and make sure that's not nothing's happening everything's working fine it's getting the right pressure make sure we're getting enough fuel so yeah guys we're ending on a good note i was really afraid that we're going to end without having fuel coming in but that's not the case so thank you guys for watching i appreciate the support in the past literal like two weeks we've gone up like 200 subscribers almost so i appreciate the support it is really appreciated and more honda content is going to be coming and more consistent as well so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week and we will be driving this thing later yeah.